Hi guys, this is Andrea from Crochet Therapy. Thanks for joining me today to make the raised circle square. This is part of the Creative Crossings crochet along, um, but you can also make really nice projects just with the square itself. All right, we're gonna start out by making a magic ring. Now everybody has their own ways of doing it, but I'm gonna show you mine. So I start off by holding my yarn like so. I go in here. I chain one and I'm gonna make 12 half double crochets into the circle. So now we've got 12 half double crochets in our circle and our next uh, round is going to be two double crochets into the third loop of each half double crochet of the previous round. So we're going to go and find our third loop. This is my half double crochet and I'm going to turn it over and you can kind of see the little bobble that comes out like this. This is my third loop. Okay, so I'm going to do one double crochet and another double crochet. Okay, I'm going to turn it over again and this little bubble is my is my second stitch. This is the third loop. I'm going to go into that. I'm going to do two double crochets into that. All right, one more time. Okay, so one, I'm going to show you slowly one more time where my third loop is. So here's my double crochet, here's my regular stitches. These are the two loops that I usually go into, the regular stitch. And I'm going to turn it over and the thing that sticks up a little bit, that's my third loop. That's what you want to go into. That's what you want to do two double crochets into. One, two. So now you're going to want to go around until you've got 24 double crochets and you can already see that there's a little raised circle. Okay, so I've just made my last double crochet into my last third loop and I'm gonna close it all with a slip stitch into my first stitch. Okay, I'm gonna chain one. My next round, we're gonna do a front post double crochet into each of these double crochets that we made. So we're going to end up with 24 double crochets again. Um, and I'm going to show you what front post double crochet is in case you don't know how to do those. So this on a crochet stitch is my post. Up here is the, up here is the loops, the stitch, and this is the post. So if I'm doing a front loop double crochet, I want to have this po uh, front post double crochet, sorry. I want to have this post up in the front. Okay. So I'm going to go yarn over and I'm going to go in and weave back out until I have this post on my hook like this. I'm going to take my yarn and double crochet. See how it raises it up? And you'll see this a lot of times on hats at the rim. You can make a, a, a nice pattern for a rim of a hat by going um, front post double crochet and back post double crochet with just the opposite. But for now, we're going to do 24 front post double crochets around. So here's my second post, and I'm going to yarn over, and I'm going to go in and weave back out until I have my post on my hook, and double crochet. And I'm going to do it all the way around until I'm back at my first stitch, and I'm going to close with a slip stitch at the end. So I closed up my round with a slip stitch into the first stitch and I chained one. The next round we're going to do a front post double crochet into the post and a half double crochet into the loop. So we're going to end up having 24 front post double crochets and 24 half double crochets at the end of this round. Okay, I'm actually going to chain two just to not make it so stitchy. All right. So we're going to go in and do a front post double crochet like we did the previous round. And now we're going to go right into this loop with a half double crochet. And a front post double crochet and a half double crochet into the loop. 
a front post double crochet and a half double crochet into the loop. One more time. So here is my next post. I'm going to do a front post double crochet. See I wove in and out and here's my post. And then I'm going to do, I'm going to find my loop, my next one right here, or my stitch I guess, and go in with a half double crochet. And it's going to look like this and you do this all around until you have 24 front post double crochets and 24 half double crochets. And I also wanted to show you the back after the front post double crochets. It's raised again. So I wanted to show you my last half double crochet because that one actually after you've made this front post um, double crochet you're left doing one half double crochet and you actually have to make it into this loop that connects right here. So it's very close to your first stitch. I just wanted to show you. That's a little tricky. So here is my post and right here is my last stitch, my last half double crochet. So now I like to count at the end of these because it's very important when you're doing squares like this that you don't lose um, your stitch count and that you have the right amount of stitches. Otherwise you're going to have a hard time making it um, not wonky. So I like to count at the end of this and um, just count if you've got 24 front post double crochets here, you're good. Alright, so I put a slip stitch in, I'm going to chain one, and now we're going to work into our half double crochets again that we've made in the previous round and we're actually going to work into our third loop of our half double crochets again. It's one of the reasons why I did the video. I got um, a lot of comments and questions um, on how to do this and I thought just showing you guys would be nice. Um, and I I'm a visual learner so I like watching people as well. So here is my, I'm going to locate my first half double crochet. It's between these two posts, this guy right here. And then I'm going to turn it over and I can already see the little bobble. So right here is my half double crochet third loop. Okay, so here's my half double crochet in between these two posts. I'm going to turn it over and the thing that sticks up, <laughs> this little wobble, is my third loop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, two double crochets and chain two into each half double crochet. This. One, two. So now I've got these and then I'm going to chain two and I'm going to find my next half double crochet. It's in between these two. I'm going to turn it over and here's my loop. I'm going to put two half double crochets in it. Whoops. Make sure it's only the third loop. No, doesn't want to do it right now. Here we go. One, two, and chain two. Show you one more time. So here's my half double crochet in between these two. I turn it over. And here's my third loop. I'm going to go in. This is a little bit more tricky, you guys. Don't worry if this round takes a little bit longer. Oops. Especially if you do that. One, two, and chain two. One more time. Here's my half double crochet. And if you are a crocheter like me that kind of makes um, really tight stitches. This is where you're going to run into some trouble <laughs> to get into the third loop if your stitches are too tight. So don't worry though, it's fine. And it only means that it's going to look neat at the end. So here you go. One, two, and chain two. You're going to do that all the way around at the end so you make you're going to make a chain two at the end and slip stitch to the first stitch 
Okay guys, so this is what it should look now and like I said, remember to always count. So you have the proper amount. So if you're counting this, <coughs> excuse me, you're gonna have uh, 24 of these clusters. And what you wanna do now is you wanna go back into this chain two space and we're gonna do five double crochets into the chain two space. So you're gonna go back, you're gonna slip stitch through, chain. I like to chain one. If you wanna chain three and use it as your first double crochet, that would work as well. For me, it's just a little bit neater um, looking, but that's, it's just preference and it's also about the way you crochet. If you're a tight crocheter like me, it'll work because your stitches will be smaller. So, um, so I'm chaining one and I'm gonna do five double crochets into this. Okay. And I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna skip my next chain space and I'm gonna go five double crochet into the next one. And chain one, skip the next one, go into this. Oops. until you went all the way around. So I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch and now I'm right over this, if you can see, I'm right over this chain 2 space that I skipped in my previous round and I'm going to put five triple crochets right into here. What you want to do though is we're going to work not in front but we're going to work behind and I'm going to show you how to do that. I put it behind here. Okay, I put my yarn over twice because we're making a triple crochet and I'm not going in front like I would like this. I'm going to turn this over a little bit and I'm going to go into my chain from behind, okay, like this. And one, two, three. So you'll probably notice that I um, only chained one and I'm leaving a long loop for my triple crochets. It's, again, this is just the same thing, it's, a, it's, another, it's just preference, the way that I like to keep it looking. Um, is like this for me, but you can just make this into a chain if that works for you. So I'm going to do this four more times until I have five triple crochets back there. One, two, three, four, oh, sorry. This is what this is supposed to look at the end. So now what you want to do is you want to find your middle stitch from the previous round in the five double crochet cluster. So this is my five double crochet cluster. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. I want to find stitch number three. So it's one, two, three. So this is going to be my middle stitch and I'm going to do a single back post crochet. So a back post single crochet. I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to put my hook in from the back and weave backwards like this. So you can see the difference between the front post um, double crochet that we did 
down here. This is the back post and a back post single crochet. So it's like this. Now I'm going to find this, um, the skipped um, two, two chain, uh, skipped chain two of the, of the round, the two rounds before again. And I'm going to do uh, five triple crochets working in the back again. So I'm going to bend this over actually. This is probably the easiest way to do it. And I'm going to put five triple crochets into this. One. Sorry. Two. Three. Four. Five. And now I'm going to find my middle stitch in this group. One, two, my third. And I'm going to back post single crochet back in here. Okay, so now you can already kind of see what it's going to look like. We've got another raised part. So we've got one, two, three raises already. I'm going to show you one more time. I'm going to go into the chain two space, the skip chain two space of the two of two rounds before. I'm going to bend this down so that I'm going working behind my last round. Yarn over twice because we're making triple crochets and I'm going to do five triple crochets into the space. Two, three, four, five. And I'm going to twist this back over and I'm going to find stitch number three, one, two, three, right here. And I'm going to back post single crochet into stitch number three. Okay, so this is what your square or circle still should look like now. It has these little pockets here. So what you want to do now is chain three. I've already done it here. After you slip stitched into the first triple crochet, you will chain three and then you're going to find your middle post of your five triple crochets, which is the third one, one, two, three and you're going to front post single crochet into it and you're going to chain three, one, two, three and you're going to back post single crochet into your single crochet from the last round. So it's very easy to find, <coughs> excuse me, it's easy to find because it's right in between these two groups right here and you're going to go in from behind and out like this and make a single crochet. And then you're gonna chain three again, one, two, three, and you're gonna find one, two, the third one, and you're gonna front post single crochet here, chain three, back post single crochet here, and so on. And you're gonna end the round by making a slip stitch into your first chain three. So you, you end at your last round um, by slip stitching into this first chain three space you've created. You're going to chain one and you're going to single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet into your first chain three space. And then you're going to not chain or do anything else except for Go right into your next chain three space, and you're gonna half double. Uh, you're gonna double crochet, half double crochet, and single crochet into this. And this is what we're gonna do all the way around. So, single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet. Here's my next chain three space, double crochet, half double crochet, and single crochet. So you go up and down and up and down. And you're going to do that around until you slip stitch into your first stitch at the end. Okay, 
So I've ended the round by um, making a slip stitch into my first single crochet and now for the next round what you want to do is you want to work in between those two st um, stitches. So you're going to work in between the last single crochet and the first single crochet of that round. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to slip stitch through and now if you want to use a chain three to replace a double crochet that's good for this one or um, I just I like to chain one and double crochet in between those two single crochets and now we're going to chain four and we're going to go into the space between those two double crochets right here and we're going to single crochet right into there so now we're going to chain four again and double crochet in between these two stitches right in here chain four single crochet in between those two double crochets and do that all the way around okay so I ended my round by slip stitching into my first stitch my double crochet and now not, uh, instead of chaining one I'm gonna go um, slip stitch into my first um, chain, chain four space and I am chaining one or you can chain through three and have it be your first double crochet and we're gonna um, do four double crochet into the um, chain space. And then do it, do four double crochet into the next, the next, the next, the next, until you have six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And after your sixth, you're gonna chain two and do, do it in the next six again. Four double crochet in the next six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Chain two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Chain two, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is how we're gonna start um, building a square from a circle. So four double crochet in the next chain space. Four in the next. Do that so that you've done four in six spaces. And then chain two, six more, chain two, six more, chain two, until you have four corners of the chain two spaces. Okay, after you're done with this round, this is what it's supposed to look like. So we've got our corners now. Um, I closed up the round by slip stitching into my first stitch. Whoops. Into my first stitch. And I'm gonna slip stitch back into my corner here. And I'm going to put two double crochets into my corner. Oops. I'm going to skip my first stitch and I'm going to double crochet into these next three. One, two, three. half double crochet into these next four two three four I'm gonna single crochet into these next eight I'm going to half double crochet into these next four. And I'm going to 
double crochet into these next th into next three and then I'm going to skip the last one and make two double crochets into my corner. I'm going to chain two, make two more double crochets into the corner, and that's how I make um, a side and a corner. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side as well, and all the other on the other three. So you want to do skip the first double crochet, double crochet into the next three. One. Three, and then you're going to do half double crochet, single crochet, single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet into the three, skip the last one, do two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet into the corner and just continue this until you're all around. Okay, so I've um, put two double crochets into the first um, the chain space right here in my first corner that I started and I chain two and I'm going to go do a slip stitch into the first double crochet that I made and then I'm going to slip stitch back into my corner and me I chain one um, and then do my two double crochets but you can chain three and use it as your first double crochet two double crochet and then you're going to skip the first stitch just like last time and you're going to double crochet into each of the 24 stitches. You're going to skip the last stitch as well before your corner um, all around. So, And then your corner is going to be two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. So I'm skipping my first stitch and I am double crocheting into each stitch, skipping my last stitch until the corner. So now I've done everything right, um, I should have 24 stitches right here, so um, it's always a good idea to count, so plus the two at the end of course. And now I'm going to skip my last stitch and I'm going to go two double crochet. chain two, two double crochets into the corner, skip my first stitch, start here and crochet all around um, until one before my last stitch, skip this one and go right into the corner again. For the next two rounds you're going to work exactly the same as this round, you're, except that you're going to add um, two stitches to each segment. So instead of doing 24 here, you're going to be doing 26 and then the next round 28. And then your la for your last stitch, it's only going to be single crochets. And at the end, you're going to have 136 single crochets, eight chains, and your square 
if you did it in worsted weight yarn with a five and a half um, millimeter um, an eye hook or actually I did this one with a five millimeter and an H hook because I used yarn that's a little bit on the thinner side but you should roughly come out to a 12 inch to a 12 inch square okay well thanks for making this with me and um, I hope it, it works out great for you